Hello, everybody. Okay, so this is going to be an updated read on uh, Cody Bixby. He is a four-year-old little boy who has gone missing. So they say he's missing since January 31st, 2022 from Hampton, um, Virginia. <sighs> now, I did do um, an ancestor read on him. And I've had an overwhelming response to that. And I'm also asking for an updated read. So I'm going to do an updated read on him. See what we can find out. What more information will come out. Just... Okay, so we're going to clear the cards. So I'm going to ask if you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It's right down here somewhere. Um, hit the notification bell so you're made aware when I do updated reads. And when I do new reads, etc. And share this out where you can. So we're going to get into it and we're going to ask my ancestors, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, please connect with little Cody Bixby and his guardian angels. Communicate with my ancestors, my protectors, to bring out what is going on surrounding this case. So what we're going to do is we are going to start with the days leading up to Cody going missing. Um, over to see what information that we can maybe get from that to give us some kind of clue as to what has happened with Cody. So right away we got the Rose Elf talks about revelations. And it's changing. Um... See the rose off. Also some skulls there. Little boy blue. So almost like I'm feeling like there was a lot of um, a lot of things going on in the home that this little boy was scared of leading up to him going missing. Solo the Brave. Okay, talks about courage. And we got Princess and the P. Talks about sensitivity. So I almost feel like there was a lot of things, like I said, with this little boy that um, it's almost like he was singled out a lot for things, maybe punished more than. Um, the others, I do know a little bit more about this case since my first read. Um, and that's going to also help me to see how this all correlates and how this all comes together. Um, I have a better understanding now of the situation. So <laughs> it's a lot easier for me to decipher what these cards mean and with what I'm being told and shown. So I do feel that this little boy was singled out a lot. Um, I do know that he has, I think there's a set of twins, if I remember reading correctly, and also a couple other kids that were all living with the father. Um, apparently, he had custody for whatever reason. And I almost feel like there was a lot of verbal abuse with him. Um, being called like a little sissy boy and stuff like that. Um, not brave. And it's almost like when things, I feel like when voices are raised, this little boy would hide or run or be very, become very scared. And there was a lot of verbal abuse. I think there was some um, physical abuse too, but I, I feel that there was a lot of verbal abuse with this child um, from the father, I would say caretaker, but there's the father, right? Sensitivity, showing sensitivity. I feel like there's something that he would carry with him, whether it be a blanket, a little teddy bear or something that um, was like he carried with him. 
that he would have taken. If he would have just left on his own, he would have taken this thing. Um, but I see a lot of verbal, emotional abuse going on. I feel like this, this child, um, compared to the others, was very sensitive. So don't forget, we're just doing right now, you guys have one on the floor, let me grab it. We're just doing on the days leading up to him going missing. The fairy ointment, okay, talks about seeing things. So did he maybe see things that he shouldn't have? Or somebody wasn't, it's talking about sight, so somebody... Either seeing an opportunity or seeing something. So there's a few days leading up to little Cody Green. Includes there some information that you can share. Now Hansel, some survival mode. Survival mode. So somebody went into survival mode. And I'm feeling like this going into survival mode is not um, Cody. I believe it's the father. So I believe that Cody might have seen something that he shouldn't have seen. The sight. Somebody seen something and then somebody went into survival mode. So did he see something or overhear something? Um, did he start repeating what he saw to somebody? I don't know. But somebody seen something and it was gone into survival mode. And I know that there was already um, some physical and emotional abuse going on in this little boy. And I feel like he was, he was generally the target of it. Yeah, Snow White and the Snow White and the Rose Red. Um, somebody trying to paint a different picture. A loyalty. Somebody was betrayed. And expectations. There was a lot of expectations surrounding this little boy. So I see him going into survival mode. Somebody going into survival mode. Um I believe one of the other kids heard something. See the Cardinal with the two other kids? Are there two girls or a girl and maybe her friend? <clears throat> they seen something. I think they have some information about maybe somewhere where they were taken or have overheard something that a sister. I'm getting the sister love with the cardinal, with the red cardinal on the bottom. Um, one of the kids has overheard something that I think could be a, important. Okay, the expectation somebody was meeting was not meeting somebody's expectations and loyalty. And like I said back here, I think that he seen or heard something that he shouldn't have, and maybe started speaking about it. You know how innocent kids do. You know, like. You see something and, you know, another adult comes around or a friend or whatever, and just nonchalantly, they say something because to them, they don't know any different, right? <clears throat> so that's what I feel that was happening leading up to just move this over a bit, the days leading up to. So we're going to go into the day of Cody going missing. day that Cody got, went missing. What can you tell us about the day that Cody went missing? <coughs> what can you tell us about the day that Cody went missing? What happened? What was surrounding him? What was surrounding the home? Healing. Mara and Mayhem healing 
something you need to heal. Strange Valentine, love being strange. Strange way of showing some love. Um, I think in my other read that I did, it came out there was a fight, and I'm seeing it again here with healing from something. Okay? Strange Valentine. Love is strange. Um, I feel like there was some kind of argument. My cleanup time. Yep, time to get rid of what's causing. Mm. Let me just get a few more cards so I can see. I've got cleanup time. It's time to clean things up, get rid of things that are going to interfere. Clean up time. What is cleaning up? What do you have to clean up? What do you have to be cleaned up? What have to be cleaned up? What had to be cleaned up? Time for a change, Paul. Changes were coming. You had to change something to calm the chaos. Okay, so the first sets of cards that come out, I've got healing, okay, and that love is strange. So I'm getting a feeling here that there was some kind of maybe verbal argument, some kind of argument um, around this love um but it's strange i almost feel like there was some kind of fight over the way things were being done at that house i think there was some kind of there was some kind of upset there and i believe it involved little cody um I know in the last read, I got that there was a fight, an argument with a female that he had. Could it be that this female or him and this female did something to Cody and it went too far? I don't know, but I've got somebody was on drugs too. So um, could somebody have done something under the influence of drugs? Okay. But whatever happened had to be cleaned up. It couldn't be explained away. It had to be cleaned up. So I believe that there's something that went too far. But Cody was specifically targeted again. And I got Poe, time for a change. Something had to change. So I do believe that there was some kind of fight or argument and somehow it involved Cody. Um, Cleaning up could be also, what do we do? Like, he's talking about this. I don't know. But I got up here that he's seen something. He overheard or seen something. So I believe that he could have overheard or seen something. But I feel like he was targeted a lot either way. Um, there was a lot of abuse towards him particularly and i don't know why it's a connection is it because of this female is it because of some love triangle i don't know but there's a reason why cody was selected and not one of the others and in the other read i got a partner and then a female so it's almost like is there an argument or fight going on there did cody see or hear something that he shouldn't have and started speaking about it to somebody else. And this is why um, he had that he had to be taken care of, cleaned up. Did he overhear something about drugs that he might have been repeating? I don't know. All I can tell you is what's coming out in the cards. But this is the day of. So did he repeat it again to somebody maybe that came to the house? It was he 
saying it to the other kids and they just had to get rid of him. I don't know. But Poe comes out with saying that something has to change before somebody learns something new. Okay. And the sea storm, deep emotional feelings again. And I got this water. Okay. Calm amid the chaos. Um, so things had to change. Things had to be calmed down surrounding whatever this was that was going on. So why Cody? Why Cody? Can you give us some more information as to why? Oh, drama. Drake. Masquerade. Um, things that were hidden for so long were being brought to light. Um, and it was causing a lot of drama. So I do believe that he could have seen or heard something that he wasn't supposed to. And it was causing a lot of problems in the father's life. I also got the candy cane angel. Time for a treat. Um... Wanting something better, wanting to just have this almost like disappear. Powerful, um, Nautilus Princess, powerful personal growth. Um, he was scared that this was going to come out. Okay, you see this, the voodoo, voodoo and blue back off. And um, I'm Kaylee. Death, you see this? From death comes rebirth. So I feel like in getting rid of Cody, he was getting rid of, rid of the problem. Getting rid of the problem that caused the chaos. Um, I believe the father was trying to make everybody believe that everything was just okie dokie, honky dory. But I do believe that um, Cody Cena heard something that he wasn't supposed to. And I think that he maybe started repeating it to people that came over. See those back off. And I'm Kaylee. Okay. So by getting rid of Cody, this was going to be kept hidden. So here comes the next part of what is going on now. Um, maybe give us some indication of area where he could be found, stuff like that. I know I did get an area in my ancestor read. And my ancestor read is my go-to, um, is the deck that I'm connected most to. We're going to say what more information that we can get out. I also got another deck that I will be using that will give more visual as to what can be found in the area. But I'm going to ask now, um, for some information to come out as to what is surrounding Cody right now. Um, maybe some information in the areas that could be found. Um, anything to do with, you know, him being brought to this area. Any information that we can get that's surrounding Cody right now. we got to be careful on this one because there could be some things that come out that are not um, known yet. Okay, that have to, we have to look into the background of these cards. Okay, so see what the, we got here, investigate. So in this card, I am seeing, um, it says to look closely. Ask questions. I'm getting he is in Was there a fire? Because I'm getting a house on fire here. So I'm asking him to give me some clues as to exactly where he is, where he can be found. I'm getting a house on fire here. That could be important. Um, and I'm getting that the investigate things haven't been look, looked at. I think they passed by him already. Um, they got to have a closer look at the areas that they've been to because I think that they have already passed by him. I want to be clean. 
See this? I want to be queen. Um, I do see water, like a, a creek here. I see um, some rocks, some trees. I've also got animals in both of these different animals. So this could be um, an area where strays might go. Or it could be near a pet store also. Is there a pet store around the areas I got before? But I'm also seeing a house that's on fire. So um, I know I've got, and I, I've got to stick with my first read. Because that was with my ancestor deck. That is the one I am 100% connected to. So keeping that in mind, this church near a creek or a little stream... I'm getting it again here. I'm getting the stream. But now I've been given some more information um, about something that had been on fire. There was a fire. Um, so around where this creek, where this church could be, was there some kind of fire? I'm just seeing the stream. Got, I got find the lesson. I've got believe and I've got nonsense. No more nonsense. Um, this stands out to me because of the queen of hearts. <clears throat> I do believe that there is a female that knows what's going on. I've also got Believe, Strange Encounters. And don't forget, I've got to look into the background on these cards to see what more information I can get. I do have the mail leaving here, okay? Find the lesson. Um, again, I've got the female here standing out with the other female or females around kind of mocking her. So I do believe that there was a fight with a female. But I've got another female that says, I'm the Queen of Hearts. I am number one. So I do believe that there's there's this fight with a female and there's other females like almost like mocking her. And it's, it's almost like Cody maybe came to this woman's defense or was very close to this woman. Um, but we're asking about where he could be found. But I'm getting like almost like a ball with the little princess and somebody who wants to be queen. Um what how does that correlate i'm not sure that's why we go into looking into the the cards to see what pops out at us what we're drawn to um again i've got got the bush here i've got bushes um Again, I've got like trees and bushes uh, again around here, but I've got like, it's not an even train. It's not just like, okay, here's the edge of the water and it's all flat. I've got, it's very bumpy. So like there's, it, it's not going to be flat land. It's going to be up and down. And, and I'm not saying these have to be tall hills. This could be an embankment going down, but there's like, where it goes up and then comes back and then it goes down and then it comes back up and then it goes down and then it comes back up. It's like that all along the edge here of this. There's some trees and stuff there too. Um, find a lesson. I've got the, he took Cody. The father did it. I've got the father walking out the door here. Um, it, leaving the stuff behind, leaving problems behind, finally cleaning up cleaning up the mess um, with him leaving by him doing what he did. Is this going to make this situation better? I don't know. This is odd. It's jumping all over the place. Um, I'm still getting that there is water close by. There's bushes. It's uneven ground. Um, I don't feel like he's buried. I feel like he was tossed. 
see, keeping your temper. Um, he's trying to keep his temper, the father, because I think when he gets angry, there's things that come out and he might slip up. So he's trying to hard to keep his temper, but I don't think he kept his temper when it came to little Cody. And somebody was angry around this situation. Oh, it went on the floor. Grab it. Okay, so I got messages for the rabbit. And who in the world are you? Um... Again, you see in the back, I've got almost like buildings on fire, which I got up here too. I think that there could have been, and this almost looks like it could have been, like, this looks like a big statue. And there's something here trying to escape the fire. Um, and you can see everything climbing up, trying to get away from the fire. This could be Cody trying to get out of the line of fire, but I do feel that there was... Have you been burned? Because this fire keeps coming up. And I'm not I'm not saying that he tried to burn his whole body, but I think that there's burn marks on him. Yeah, he's trying to keep his temper. And he, he's, he's fed up being asked questions. I think this is the father. He's fed up being asked questions. He's got to keep his temper. And he's doing his best to try and keep his temper. But I feel like something's going to pop off soon. Um, and the, I do have here that the truth is going to come out with this. What's surrounding Cody right now? How's Cody feeling right now? Is there anything that Cody can give us to give an idea of where he is and what happened? Do not drink the poison. The do not drink the poison talks about don't do things that you know aren't good for you. So he's ne he's never going to give up. The, the father's not. That's going to mean one of two things or both. That the father is doing everything in his power not to give this up. But I'm feeling more drawn towards Cody on this card. That this was done because he was doing bad things. Bad things. And like I said up here, I, I feel like he was constantly belittled, um, called a sissy. Um, I feel for a while this has been going on, but I feel a, fe a female energy came in, possibly two female energies came into this. And I feel there was some kind of fight. So did Cody say something? Because I see up here, he heard or seen something he wasn't supposed to. And I think he, I think he was afraid of the Cody passing a message on to one of these females. And that's why he had to take care of it. He had to get rid of Cody. I do believe the father, and this is in my opinion, in my opinion only. Oh, just hang on a second, you guys. I've got somebody coming to my door. Just give me a second here.
Okay, I'm sorry about that, you guys. Um, I do feel like Cody heard or seen something that this guy was scared that Cody was going to tell the female. He was scared of it coming out. So whatever it was, um, I know in the last read too, I've got something about drugs. Um, but I do believe that he's seen or heard something. Keeping up, see. Sorry, you guys, I didn't. Quarter after three. I feel he was taken. Like this was done by quarter after three in the morning. See the clock, quarter after three. I believe that came out too in my last read, something about the three. I felt like it was done around 3 a.m. The clock here is saying quarter after three. Or between quarter after and 20 after three in the morning. Uh, I believe is when it was over and done with. Um... And I, I also believe that the area where he is, and we're going to pull some other cards to get some more information. We're going to pull them from here. Um, I think, I don't know if this was premeditated, but I'm getting immense effort. So I think he might have been scoping out where he could dump him. For, for a bit. But it was done effortlessly. I got that up there. It was like, it, it's not like he's buried. It's like where he is, you'd have to be almost right on top of it to see it. Maybe throwing some bush or something over top or, you know, some old scraps of wood. But he's not buried, buried. And I do get that he's still by that water. Let's get one or two more cards, and then we're going to go into another deck to see it gives more photogenic of areas. Is there anything else, Cody, that you want us to know? So, yeah, I do believe that this is all caused. I think there could have been a fight caused over by something Cody said that he revealed that maybe he shouldn't have. But I feel like he was picked on a lot. And I believe that one female who he had to fight with was in the secret position. So I don't know if that has come out yet about a fight with a female. Okay, so I got Never Jam today. And I've got Growing Up. So I asked Cody if he had anything else that he wanted to say in this. Um, rejection of perpetual youth. It's almost like um, what I'm getting from this. It's like Cody was expected to act a lot older than what he was. How old was he? Four? <sighs> okay, and the never jam today, okay? What that card means and what it talks about is promises that never came come to be. So I do believe that Cody overheard or seen something that was going on. I think maybe the father tried to get Cody, like, shut your mouth, you don't repeat that, you don't tell nobody that. But he's only four years old, right? And to him, it's like he doesn't understand what he's saying or like, like, oh, and this is just hypothetical. Like the father saying, don't you ever tell anybody that we got a gun in the house. And the little boy goes, oh, daddy got bang, bang, you know, um, saying things without realizing that they're doing anything wrong. I feel like he was always talked to and treated like an older than what he was. 
he was expected to understand is more what I'm trying to get at. Um, and as an older child would, but he didn't, he was still just a little boy. And I think the father got frustrated a lot with that. And I do think he's repeated something that he's seen or heard and it caused a lot of problems. Um, empty words, not living now. So I do not believe that he's alive. Um, and this is like promises that never came to be. So it's like, did he get Cody to go somewhere or do something on the promise of something? And it didn't have, or did he promise something to somebody that never came to be? I don't know, but it's somehow connected to Cody. Broken promises, uh, empty words, things being said and done that, you know, maybe shouldn't have been. And I still do believe Cody overheard or seen something that he shouldn't have. And I feel like maybe to one of the females he said something to, or the father was fearful of him saying something. So he had to get rid of him. That's what I think it's all over you guys. Okay, so as you can see with this deck, many different things that you can see in these decks um, that would, could give us some indication of maybe the area, what the area looks like. So that's what I'm going to ask now. I'm going to ask Cody, Cody's Guardian Angels, to please show my ancestors what the area looks like where you are so we can have people maybe help find you. What does the area look like? Please show us in the cards what the area looks like of where you are. What does the area look like? Can you please show us, Cody, so we can find you and maybe go and get you, bring you back so you can be respected. Anything that you would want to show us Cody, of the area that your physical body is at. Can you please show us where your physical body is at? Can you? It doesn't have to be exact, but something that would spark somebody's mind as to, oh my gosh, it's there. I know where that spot is. Anything to help find you, to find the area where you are. like he doesn't want to show us nothing's coming out Cody we're trying to help you can you please show us an area what the area looks like where you can be found can you please? hey there's way too many here there's about 10 but I'm going to take that Opening. Rewards. Wild card. Thank you, Cody. Can you give us a little bit more information now? Can you show us something more? Thank you for the card that you put out. Can you show us something more? To me, you guys, I've got Portal. When I get that, it's almost like this is an entrance to the other side. So to me, I'm taking that as the church, the shape and everything, um, the different colors. So is this like a colorful, um, is it going to be standing out because of maybe the color of this place? Um, doors always being open. I'm going to take that as the church. Thank you, Cody. Um, can you give us a little bit more now? of the area surrounding where you are. And please show us any way that you can. Okay. See, again, I've got these dips and turns um, 
I've got, you see this? It's almost like Jesus standing on the top of the, the mountain there. I got it with this. So I do believe that it is around a church. Thank you, Cody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And remember I said it goes down and then there's bumps and ledges and stuff. See that? What I was feeling up here. It's almost like Jesus standing at the top. And it goes down. And that's what I said before. I think he was thrown down there. And it's all like bumpy. It's not like a flat terrain. It's bumpy with like maybe a pile of rocks there and dirt piles and whatever. That's what I'm seeing here too. So that just validates for me what I said earlier. What I was getting. Oh, there's the water, the whale, and the orca elders. Hathor is deep like the mother's milk. Birth is a portal. Okay. So I do see the grassy areas again and the stream. See the stream here? The water coming down. So the water would be coming from something bigger or something higher up. Something bigger, something higher up. The stream coming down, he's down there. He's down there. You see the body here? I don't know if you can see it well here. There's a body laying here and almost like covered with debris, flowers, debris by that stream. There's the body. Okay. The water's coming down from either a bigger area of water or from above. And it's almost like it ends right there. It ends right here almost. And it's showing me. I don't know if you guys can see it. Well, you can see the feet sticking up here. And it's almost like some, some brush or something around him and on him. Again, I'm getting the water. And something... Um, it's like a... a mm. This reminds me of like altar boys, you know what I mean? Protecting, standing in front of the altar, more like a Catholic church, um, where you'd have the altar boys standing there holding their candles and stuff, is what I'm seeing. I do believe this is around the church, and, and I'm getting it again here. Um, I think that he could be overlooked, because I got that up here somewhere. Uh, looking more closely. Leo Neorca talks about the water again deep emotional feelings surrounding this um diving deep so to me this was deep emotional feelings again surrounding this so this i believe that there is a female that was deeply connected to both the father and this little boy somehow is that who he had the fight with um did he did dylan uh Cody see something happen with that female that he shouldn't have? I don't know, but that I can only tell you what I'm getting. But I am getting that it's got to be, the area's got to be looked at again more closely. Look closely. You see this? Look closely. Because I feel like something's been missed. Um, I'm getting almost like a Catholic church because of what I'm seeing here. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it is a Catholic church because I just see this could also be, I don't know what churches they are that have the, the statues in that they pray to. It's just, it's just confirming to me that it's a church. I've got almost like Jesus up on the hill here. You know how he's standing up there in some pictures with his arms open. And I've got it also here too. Um, I got a lot of different colors. So this, what could stand out about this place is I feel it's made of brick but I also feel like there's colors that would stand out with this church. Um, I do feel that he is near water or in water, but I feel it's, at the, I got it right here. The stream that it came out in my other read. And you got the body laying right here by the stream with debris, maybe on top of him. I don't think he's buried. If it is, it's a very shallow grave. Um, but I feel like he was tossed there and that there's debris or something. Let's take the person who did this to Cody. I'm going to take a couple. I usually don't like using 
this deck here in Reads with Children, but I'm going to ask about um, Cody's father. Let's get a few cards on with Cody's father regarding, like, why would he do this? One more, please. Getting oneself alone in the world. See? It's a female. Something happened with a female. And I think Cody seen something. It's like he felt like he was living alone without this. That it would be a lonely life without this female. Or it is a lonely life without this female. But there's something to do with this female. So is it? I don't know. Like, I don't want to be accusatory. But I'm get, almost getting a feeling like... For the, some reason, this woman did not like Cody. Um, <clears throat> and I'm not saying she had anything to do with his death, but I, I'm getting that feeling from this female that she didn't like Cody for some reason. I'm not saying that's why he was killed. But I feel like um, he was all out for himself. This is regarding the father. He was out there for himself. It was like, what about me? Never mind these kids anymore. I've got to do for me, me, me. What I need is what I should get. Um, what I want, I should get. And I've got a female that comes out. And I and the, this card stands with alone in the world. He feels alone without this female. Um, so, like I said, did Cody see or hear something he wasn't supposed to that could leave him without this woman? I don't know. But I feel that there was a fight also with this woman. Or another female. Is it a love triangle? I don't know. But I see a partner in the middle on the last read, and I've seen a fight with a female over here. Um, those that are maybe close to this, these people will figure that out. But I do see here, and the same as in my ancestor read that I did, it's by this creek. I even got the body. I even got the body laying here. Let me see if I can see the body laying here. There's the feet. It's by a small creek. Deep emotional feelings is what this was over, and I believe it stems here. Um, so this could be trying to give us an indication of what the church, maybe some big pillars at the church, um, some either statues that are praised, or this is cat, or it could be Catholic. Um, but I do feel that it's by the church. It's almost like there's Jesus looking down. And with this, I'm getting like there's some colors. There, it's going to be distinctive. The church is going to be distinctive because of the colors. Or maybe the colors around it. What's around it? I don't know. I don't. I'm, I'm in Canada. I can't even... You know, I want to go on maps and see if I can't look for this myself, but I wanted to get this read out um, because a lot of people have been asking for it. So I do still believe, and I find, I feel like they didn't look close enough. Um, I do feel that they, they've already been in the area where Cody is, but they didn't look close enough. They didn't look close enough. And I got that right here. Okay. So, and I've got animals, so maybe he's going to be found by animals or drug out by animals. I don't know, but I, it, the card here is telling me they didn't look close enough. <clears throat> so, with that being said, this is my updated read. I hope it helps. I hope it brings out maybe some more information for those who are out looking. I've got many, many messages saying that they want to go out and search, but they need more information on the area or they been searching but they don't have enough information apparently there's a lot of churches around there so i hope this maybe you know brings the area closer where they've got to look but i do know that there is a church something about a church and this creek little creek it's not a big body of water it's like a creek it comes from either up higher and comes down or from a bigger body of water and comes into that area. I don't know. And I've got it here too. By the church with the water out back. So it's almost telling me that the water's behind the church.
yeah, this was all his selfish self, the father. So that's my read. Again, if you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Um, it makes you aware when I am doing reads and when I up to, uh, upload new videos. Um, please hit that like button and please share this out where you can. Hopefully this more information with um, the photos that came out regarding the area could give a little bit more clues to narrow it down because I heard that there's tons of churches in this area. So hopefully this can help nail it down and narrow it down. Okay. So until the next time, you guys, please take care of yourselves. Please stay safe. Love you to the moon and back. Bye-bye for now.